Xanthoma are a common classification of deposits of cholesterol-laden cells, the most common of which is xanthelasma. Xanthoma can be found all over your body, including on your face, buttocks, and your hands. Sometimes they can be in groups and really small, and other times they can be quite large. Medically, they're broken down into various classifications. There's tuberous xanthoma, which can be found all over the body and be nodular in nature. Out of all the xanthomas, this is one of the more deforming in nature and is usually situated deep in the skin. Another common version of tendinitis xanthoma, which is named due to being found most of the time attached to body's tendons. This is very common to be found on the Achilles heel of patients. Eruptive xanthoma appears in large clusters. This form of xanthoma can appear in the mouth, most commonly related to diabetes. They are small xanthoma, but with a much larger spread. Plain xanthoma are very common around the eyelids and on the face, distinctive in its formation, causing yellowing underneath the skin with no presentation on the top layers of the skin. This is when the xanthoma cells spread sideways in the dermis and don't present on the future. Last but not least, we have xanthoma dissemination. This actually is a rare version of xanthoma where hundreds of xanthoma cells form together to harden the skin and can resemble a large rash. In most of these skin conditions, the same as with xanthelasma, Lipid disorders are due to high cholesterol, and that seems to be the problem. So if you want more help and advice with xanthoma or xanthelasma, then follow the link in the bio to xanthelasmatreatment.com, your resource for helping you to understand your skin condition and how to treat it and remove it. Remember, you're in safe hands with the Xanthal team.